Thanks for staying with us. We now have more excerpts from our exclusive interview with Michael Elias. Now, Michael, wouldn't Sri Lanka benefit from having a few more, or a lot more at least, of these information centers and, uh, you know, uh, where, where tourists can get more information because we seem to be lacking in that area? Absolutely. Uh, a month ago I was in Australia and just funny, uh, interesting question because I, I walked into Sydney and uh, Melbourne, both places, you know, it's unbelievable. You have audiovisual factors, you have all maps and all the areas, you have suggested excursions. They even have gone to the extent of having su a souvenir component in, in, in the information centers and they are the, um, a lot of it is done by volunteers. But they are also uh, paid staff there as well. But brilliant information flow. You can you can get any information you want at at and, and in several languages. So yeah, we need this as well. We need it in several locations, not just in Colombo, because we must remember that Colombo is not the hub for tourism. We have several locations. So down down south in Nigambo, you ha you need, and it must be professionally run. It it has to look good. Now when you walk into those locations, you know, it's brilliant. You you. You know you'll get the information you want. Uh, you can do it uh, on your own by pressing buttons or somebody's there to help you as well. So, How is the mice market faring? Is it right if we say that at least 60 to 65 percent of the occupancy we have been seeing is majorly made up of the mice market? Uh, I would say for Colombo, yes, not for the resorts. Um, and the mice market definitely is very strong. Uh, we have a little unit called John Keys Conventions that plays in the in the market, and our growth is has it has doubled. Uh, we handle around ten thousand Indian clients, and at least sixty percent of this is mice. So that's six thousand mice clients from our company alone. We have some issues though. Uh, we don't have the capacity to run big ones. Uh, you know, medical conventions go up to ten thousand people, and we just don't have the ability to do that. Uh, but interestingly, at a recent cocktail, I was talking to um, one of my colleagues in uh, Slapsio, which is the um, association that runs mice, and uh, he's the largest event uh, handler in Sri Lanka, and he's doubled his business, he says. So it means there's a huge, so that is, we are strong in uh, incentives and con conventions, they are very strong in the events where they run uh, conferences and exhibitions. So if both sides are going up, definitely MICE is doing well. Now, other than the fact that we are possibly, but not necessarily cheaper than our competitive MICE markets in this region, what is there to attract this segment into Sri Lanka? You did mention that, well, we don't have the lack of, we have a lack of entertainment. And, you know, other things like information, uh, even the infrastructure that Colombo Katanaika Highway has been, it has been years since it took root and it's still not uh, done and finished. The same things that you need for the Indian market, for the Chinese market, you need entertainment, you, you, need, you need mega hotels as well or complexes of hotels. The Singapore kind of mall hotel complex uh, where you have a mega convention center. We can't handle more than 1,000 people on a convention here and you need to have 4,000, 5,000 players coming in on these things. Uh, so we are very good at the small unit but we can't take the big ones. And, and that is a shame because it's from the big ones that you spin off a lot of small ones. Our infrastructure on roads, yes, issue. Time to get to places from point to point is an issue. Uh, we've gone by leaps and bounds forward in terms of communication, in telecommunication, which uh, 10 years ago was a nightmare. Frankly, what I've seen in the last year compared to the last 25 years in the industry, there has been a huge increase in uh, our uh, infrastructure. The development is coming. I, f I flew over the South Highway a couple of days ago and it's brilliant. It, you know, it's going to do a lot that we need. From the time we were in school, we saw the Colombo uh, Airport expressway which was a no starter from the beginning but today when you take off and you're leaving the uh, country, you, you can see the strip coming up very clearly. Um, yeah, then look at Trincomalee. From Trincomalee to Batiklo is now one and a half hours or one hour if you're driving, if you're breaking the speed limit. But uh, so there is, there's a lot of uh, development. We have a new harbour, we have probably new airports soon. So yeah, it'll take a little time, 
but we get that. Now, IATA expects industry profits to fall uh, to $4.9 billion next year from a forecast of $6.9 uh, $6 billion in 2011. Revenue streams, it says, will remain by and large at that $600 billion mark. This means that uh, av aviation margins will also be squeezed. It also acknowledges that, yes, with the Arizona may be going into a dip and we will have an economic slowdown. That will affect tourism as well as the aviation industry, given that our main traditional market is from this Eurozone. Shouldn't we start looking elsewhere, Asia for instance? That's quite obvious, uh, Savitri. I think uh, our focus, while as I said before, we can't ignore or put it completely to side, but we have to focus on Asia. And, and the two the big boys on our doorstep. We have India on our doorstep. We have China, which is now the number one destination of the Maldives. So we have to tear, turn that market. And, and look at what Singapore did with China. They focused exclusively on a gaming area for the Chinese and they're, they're bringing millions now. So you have to bring that, and it, we can't say that the Chinese market won't fly so long and that they're only a Singapore or Malaysia or Vietnam operation because they're coming to the Maldives. And if they're coming to the Maldives, we are next door, we are actually closer. So, yeah. Just one last question. Our service standards, do they match up to the money that a guest pays? It's a yes and no there. Uh, some, yes. Some hotels have really come are at the top of the pl plane. Uh, some have hyped themselves up to a level that people expect them to be up there, but they're not. Uh, recently, we have uh, uh, we see T Trails being nominated as one of the top ten in the world from a uh, all-inclusive boutique, luxury boutique thing, which is fantastic, you know. Uh, but then you have others who are calling themselves A and B, and they're not, and uh, that is negative. So. That's where the board has to also control things. They have to be, the inspections have to be very good um, because we are competing with countries like Thailand where the service level is on another plane eh, already. It's very, very good. And we have got away with a lovely smile, and, uh, but the effectiveness of our service is sometimes lacking. That was Michael Elias. The voice of business is coming up, but before that, here are some messages from our sponsors. Your smartphone just got smarter with Mobitel. Smart Prepaid offers a one-day data option with 100 MB for 20 rupees and a seven-day data option with 200 MB for 75 rupees on your smartphone. Mobitel. We care. Always. If you're looking for a leasing company to make your wheels go round with fast, friendly and hassle-free service. Together with flexibility and the best interest rates in town. Let us show you how we can make your world go round. People's Leasing Company. We're the number one in leasing because pleasing people is our number one priority. Your smartphone just got smarter with Mobitel. Smart Prepaid lets your laptop surf the web by connecting to your smartphone with an amazing 30-day data plan offering 1 GB for 299 rupees and 3 GB for 799 rupees. Mobitel, we care always. Thank you for staying with Benchmark. A much anticipated event around this time of the year is the announcement of LMD's Business People of the Year, which names 10 captains of industry who have trailblazed their way into Sri Lanka's biz landscape in the last 12 months. Launched last year, the BOTI Awards, as they are known, represent the who's who of business in Sri Lanka. The November edition of LMD presents 2011's BOTI Award winners in alphabetical order. Ajit Devasurendra is often cited as being the brains behind pioneering money broking and government securities markets in the country. Devasurendra has been a champion for the corporate bond market, calling for investor-friendly regulations and lobbying for a liberal regulatory environment to boost the market. Not much is known about Amita Gunaratna, the able commander-in-chief of Commercial Bank, quiet but effective, the veteran banker lets his bank's performance do the talking preferring to direct the show from the sidelines. Under his stewardship, Commercial Bank was adjudged the best bank in Sri Lanka for the 13th successive year by Global Finance magazine. Otara Gunavardhana broke as many records in her career as a young athlete as she has years later as a consummate businesswoman who helms an iconic retail operation.
As the founder and CEO of Odell, she elevated fashion apparel to a new platform with panache and through eye-catching displays at Odell's flagship store with its splendid aura spanning 35,000 square feet and a contemporary ambience that has shoppers indulging in pure retail therapy. Dilith Jayavira, the ad industry champion turned hotshot investor, has stormed the stock market this year and proffered enough fodder for the Ryuma mills and food for thought for industry watchers. Jayavira may have commenced his career as a modest salesman, but he has since played a hand in building triad advertising with billings in excess of 1 billion rupees and functions as its joint managing director. Ishara Nanekar serves as deputy chairman of the LOLC group and is expertly changing its course to that of a diversified conglomerate from a purely financial services outfit. LOLC has moved from being a niche leasing player to one of Sri Lanka's leading conglomerates. Nanyakara's green philosophy lends a distinctive feel, as does his presence in the SME sector and focus on sustainable forestry, the plantations and hydropower projects. Chairman and Chief Executive of the Haley's Group, Mohan Panditage, is an example of the rich fruits that hard work and application can bear. Merely two years into his role as the chief of the diversified conglomerate, Panditage modestly counts the group's sustainability and development initiatives as his main achievements thus far. In fact, Haley's has proved that adding value to waste materials such as coconut shells to produce world-class products can be lucrative business. Ashok Patirage's ability to aspire opportunities and move in to seal deals is what perhaps has enabled him to build his business so rapidly. The chairman of SoftLogic is candid about his willingness to take calculated risks and acknowledges the fact that nothing lost is nothing gained. And so far, at least, he has been on the winning side. Damika Pereira is a man on a mission. Tales of his 500 rupees to over a billion are legion. But whether they are authentic or not, here is an individual who hasn't majored in business studies but learnt the art of doing business on the job. His business acumen and razor-sharp mind have enabled him to grasp the formula of corporate success. Susanta Ratnayaka seems to have the Midas touch, going from strength to strength and succeeding in seeing John Keel's holdings fly high in post-war Sri Lanka. He has led JKH since January 2006 and counts over 30 years management experience with the leading blue chip. WKH Begapitya set up the first petrol to auto LPG conversion plant in Sri Lanka in 1994. Today, Love's Holdings consists of 18 subsidiaries, four of which are listed entities. Vegapitya's entrepreneurial skills have won him a Gold Award, Entrepreneur of the Year in 2005, and Platinum for National Entrepreneur of the Year in 2006. Our congratulations to the recipients of LMD's Business People of the Year Award for 2011. We hope you enjoyed our show. Do join us again next week.